I uh, wanted to give an update video on the engine side stuff that we've done. I did a video called uh, Engine Tour when we very first mounted the engine, so I thought it'd be nice to show an update of some of the things that have happened since then. Uh, I'll just try to go in order here of the items that we've added. Uh, <clears throat> We did uh, most of the baffling so far. I still have to trim the tops of the baffling here to um, make it where the cowl will fit on. And then the next section is the control cables. That was pretty easy, and I'm going to show all these things. I'm just uh, giving you the quick order of them in the book here. Fuel system. All this stuff is, uh, I found it was, you know, fairly straightforward. And the uh, oil system. And the exhaust system, and that's that was the last one. And it's uh, got most of that done so far. There's still some things left I need to do, though. Um, so, first of all, the baffling. You know, you, you put together all the, uh, mostly the back cylinders here, five and six cylinders. Those are the ones that require the most work with this baffling stuff. You kind of create these, but the rest of them are not a lot of work to them. You just put these little things on them and trim them up a little bit. Not a lot of work there. So the baffling is uh, pretty straightforward in that part. The fronts here was a little more challenging because you have to make these, you know, make this bend, put this vent on, um, attach a, a bracket down here below. You can see that. Then you put uh, some nut plates on, and the other side, I have it off right now, but it's kind of the same thing. So, um, after the baffling was the control cables. You can see one of them here. Uh, pretty easy. Just route them, you know, um, as shown in the instructions. They go through that little white bracket back there. This is the other one. Another control cable right here. And those just go to your throttle quadrant or your control cables or whatever you have. And uh, so the next part was, I believe, the fuel system. So I just ran this uh, fuel line here from the, goes up here. Hard to see it, but it goes to the um, fuel pump. And stuff runs to the throttle body here. Pretty straightforward. And the oil system. Mounted the oil cooler. Just uh, six bolts hold that on. And then you attach the lines to either side. And the oil circulates through there to cool it off. And this big uh, tube, scat tube here, just, you know, it's a big, uh, channels a lot of air through there to cool it. And we attached, this is a, a breather tube for the oil, uh, hooks into the oil system. And it's just a big pipe right here that runs down. It's this big thing, and here it pops out just like that. And I guess next was the exhaust system. That was pretty fun for me. Um, it's the Vetterman exhaust and it kind of comes with, you just kind of assemble these short parts that go into um, the ball joint here and uh, they just bolt right on there. Pretty easy. And then the next part of the um, exhaust system is uh, attaching, rigging up kind of the suspension system to hang it. Did that. Show the other side. A little less busy on this side of the engine. There it is. And you'll notice I've got the um, exhaust temperature, EGTs, exhaust gas temperature. Um, probes, you know, you just drill a hole in the exhaust pipe there and uh, mount your probe. 
just wanted to keep them out of the way of stuff, so uh, hopefully I've done a good job at that. And then back there, you can see I used a 80 clamp to secure those wires and kind of bundle bundle them all up here. Here's the manifold pressure line. It just uh, there's a line that this this actually came with the uh, firewall forward kit, and you just run it into the firewall forward, and then on the other side of the firewall there, there's a you can attach a little plastic tube that goes to your sensor, or you know it, it can go to various sensor types. We bought a um, braided grounding strap. And I'll just hook that up like right here somewhere, something like that. Let's just uh, ground the, better ground the engine. And I guess that's about it. It's been fun. It's, uh, it's exciting getting close to being flyable, I think.